take a look at one of the cool bridges here behind me. You can just take a walk with me. See how it goes, pretty beautiful bridge. If you take a look over here, I don't know, can you see it? Oh, there they are, they're out over there. This is where it's at. Look at them cleaning up there. And that's just like public service, like they're just volunteering to do that. A lot of times, Obachan and Ochan, they need a hobby, they're retired, and they do something great like that. Um, that's, that's really awesome for the community. It's the Hitachi building, if you're wondering what that is. At nighttime it lights up and it says, take things to the next level. That's pretty cool. It's a part of the natural Japan mixed with the future Japan. And that's why people always ask me, they say, what's the best way to describe Japan? I say, it's like living in the future and the past at the same time. Look at all this cool stuff. We've got the flags up here. That's pretty nice. It's beautiful. If you look over there behind me, you're probably, if you're wondering what that little place is, the little pavilion. It's like a restaurant. A little sushi restaurant up there. Beautiful, huh? All right. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to find a seat over here. And, uh... I'm gonna go ahead and sit down and make you a little video, okay? A little thank you for anybody who joined my channel uh, recently or anybody who joined because of my welcome video. What's up everybody? Unrested here at Tenoji Park today on a very, very beautiful Sunday. I can't believe how great the weather is in the middle of June here. It is usually sweltering hot and uh, it's pretty tolerable. It's not so bad. And uh, we're out here, we're feeding the fish, we're feeding the turtles, we're feeding the pigeons. When you feed them out here, they are ravenous. You see a big fish? Wow. My son just saw a big fish. I just wanted to stop by and say hi. Thanks for joining. If you've joined because of my welcome video, I am very excited to have you on. Uh, I got a great response on that welcome video. I was very, very happy with how people responded to that. You, you always kind of wonder, am I showing enough? Am I showing too much? Am I talking for too long? But everybody would seem to be pretty happy with that. So thanks so much for your feedback. It's really important to me. Starting this week, I'm starting the J Pasta series. And that's to give kind of some of you with uh, hunger for Osiroshi Saturday a better feel for some of the horror that comes out of Japan. Creepy pastas that are written here, although I know they usually label them as Toshi Densetsu, which literally translates to like urban legend. We want to show you more of those uh, just to give you little clips and bits that lead up to the final Osiroshi Saturday. The problem with putting those together, why it always takes me so long and why I don't always get them out every weekend is because there's a lot of editing involved. There are multiple stories, multiple videos. I'm trying to put a shit all together and the entire program starts to slow down, my computer starts to slow down, etc, etc. Excuse, excuse. What I'm trying to say is I want to give you little snippets here and there until the final product is out and those will not be in the actual Osiroshi Saturday. You'll get a grouping of J pastas. I'll put a couple of those out. You'll enjoy one or two of those throughout the week. And then finally, hopefully every weekend I can start to put out more regular Osidoshi Saturdays. Anyway, that's just an update from me. Thanks for watching. Thanks for joining. If you subscribe because of my welcome video, welcome to the Unrested channel. And there's just one more example. Here I am in the middle of a park about a mile from my apartment in the middle of nature, looking all around. I see nature everywhere. It's beautiful. And then I come back out here, I look out through the trees, and in the distance I see the tallest building in Japan, the Osaka Haruka building. Massive, over 300 stories. Yet here I am in the middle of nature. That's the aspect of Japan I really love.